Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the island bringing you guys to a restaurant that we have filmed at before, but this time we are back for breakfast. Today, we're getting ready to take you guys along with us to... Holidays. Here is a look at the breakfast menu. They have the Albany, which is two down-home dishes, one breakfast meat, and two breakfast treats. Or the Savannah, which is three down-home dishes, one breakfast meat, and two breakfast treats. Kids three to five are $4.99, and ages six to 10 are $10.99. Here are the down-home dishes. Nashville hot chicken and waffles, sweet piggies in a blanket, country fried steak with white gravy, apple cinnamon french toast, the all righty then scrambled eggs, gooey gooey butter pancakes, everyday breakfast casserole, country scramble with sausage gravy, and the meats are millionaire bacon. We've actually made that at the house. It's really good. It's a kind of a spicy then sweet bacon, country ham, sausage links, or applewood smoked center cut bacon. And for the breakfast treats here, we've got creamy hash brown casserole, country fried potatoes, biscuits and sausage gravy, cheesy grits, along with fresh fruits. And we got some complimentary orange juice this morning and Henry wants us to go cheers. <laughs> so to start, we got some really buttery biscuits. I'm gonna put some Orville, Ohio's own Smucker's Jam on there. Henry, you drank the whole thing. Was it good? Jennifer, that's one of your favorite things about the sweet tea here, right? Yep. The mint. All right, so here is the spread. Here are the ooey gooey pancakes, country fried steak, <laughs> breakfast casserole right here. Right here we've got some potato casserole. And here are the biscuits along with the sausage gravy. Let's take a look at that gravy. All right. And back here we got the applewood bacon. So I'm gonna try out the hickory smoked bacon and it looks like it's a really meaty piece there and crispy just like I like it. That is really tasty, um, very meaty, not fatty, not too salty, um, perfect crisp on it. What are you trying next there, Jennifer? Um, I'm trying the breakfast casserole, which has a little bit of everything in there, as you can see. What does it have? It has sausage, hash browns, sausage, cheese, eggs. That's really tasty also. Um, it's not dry or anything like that. It's cooked perfectly. It uh, has a good seasoning. That's kind of something that like kids probably would like as well. So I'm gonna try the biscuits and gravy. And I already know these biscuits are really good and fluffy and buttery. That's pretty good too. Um, again, not too salty, seasoned well and everything. Um, it's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna try one of those ooey gooey pancakes. And you can see that ooey gooey sauce on top here. It's almost like a cream cheese icing. It needs zero syrup. In fact, I'd probably prefer that over syrup. That's very delicious. Those are some really good fluffy buttermilk pancakes. Next, I'm going to try some of the country fried steak with the sawmill gravy. It's pretty decent. Um, it's, it's not over the top great, but it's also not bad by any means either. It's just, just pretty decent, okay country fried steak. All right, now we're gonna try some of the hash brown casserole here. So I'm real picky when it comes to hash brown casserole. My favorite is actually a Cracker Barrel. Uh, this is not quite to that level of Cracker Barrels, but if Cracker Barrels is like a 10, this is probably like six and a half. And our final bill came out to a total of $73.88 after tax and before tip. That was Paula Dean's Family Kitchen for breakfast. Gentry, what did you think? 
I gotta say, I think I like the dinner more than breakfast. I mean, although the bacon was good, I would still prefer dinner. Um, everything was good here, but it just didn't meet my expectation. And that's probably because they don't have macaroni for breakfast, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they were asking for macaroni as soon as we got here. Henry, what did you think, buddy? It was good. I like the music. And yeah. I also like the ride because that ride in the excavator is my favorite part. All right. That's a ride that he's referring to. The very last time that we were here for filming, he was all about this ride. Couldn't even focus on the meal hardly because he wanted to get on this ride. He loves it. We'll have to get on it maybe one time before we leave here. And Jennifer. Um, I agree with Gentry on the supper here is uh, much better than the breakfast. Um, it was okay though. I mean, it was filling and everything. Uh, my favorites were the sweet tea, of course, and the bacon and the pancakes. Um, I'm normally not a huge breakfast person either. Um, Brent and the boys are, <laughs> so they can give you a better opinion than me, but um, but those were my favorites overall. And I will have to say, we love Paula Denny's. Uh, we've been to the one here, we've been to the one in Nashville. The one here in Pitcher Forge is the only location in the U.S. that actually serves breakfast. So we were very excited to be here uh, for their breakfast, but I would say it's just very middle of the road. It's not terrible, but it's also not great. And there's a lot of great breakfast establishments here in town, and this to me did not fit into that category as being one of the great ones. But with that in mind, everything's day to day with restaurants. You may be able to come here tomorrow and it may be fantastic. It may depend on the cook. It may depend on how fresh the ingredients are. There's so many variables that come into play that make things great and make things just so-so, kind of like today. Um, but with today's meal, this is probably not a place that we would uh, be excited to come back to for breakfast anyway. Um, but we'd like to look at everything, the glass half full. So I will say the pancakes were really good uh that ooey gooey sauce on top just excellent the bacon was good um i love sausage gravy and biscuits but it was just a little too greasy and just the flavor was not there for me today and um we, we just got to be honest <laughs> it, it just did not meet our expectations for breakfast but all in all love paula Deans. definitely come here for dinner if you're looking for a great meal this is one of our top tens for dinner time uh here in pigeon forge so Great family meals at dinner, breakfast, can't service say the same. Awesome. Service is awesome, yes, service. Our server was really, really great. Absolutely, and just being here at the island, it's always a great time. But guys, we thank you so much for joining us here at Paula Dance Family Restaurant for breakfast this time at the island in Pigeon Forge. We sure to look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday. You like the views? Uh-huh, I went on this, but now I'm back on. You should. <laughs> and he loved it. Maybe a year ago you went on this with me and my papa, exactly. right? There's the top roof of Paula Deans. Go down. And you chose the basketball, right? We're not going down. Getting a good breeze up here, aren't we?